the reason you and I already have everything that we desire now is because what we desire is a feeling. You see, the motive behind why you want anything or anyone in this world is because you believe you will feel better for the having of it. Let's look at it this way. The reason you want to be with your ex or your SP, to have any relationship, friends, a community, why you want the money, the house, the vacation, the car, is because you think or believe it would make you feel a particular way, which is why at the root of your desire, are feelings. Otherwise, you wouldn't want anything or anyone. And because all of your desires are feelings and every feeling which could ever be is within you now, you have it all now. How is this possible? Because neurologically, we are the creators of our feelings, just as we are the creator of our thoughts, assumptions, moods, mental images, memories, actions, and behaviors. Hence, we are called creators, not just in the spiritual sense, but quite literally. Now, Everything in this universe is energy, which vibrates at different frequencies, right? And this includes our emotions and feelings, but they can never be destroyed. We can choose them, transform them, transfer them, even suppress or deny them, but never destroy them. No one or nothing in this world will ever be able to remove your ability to emit a vibration, which is how we manifest, because you emit a vibration every millisecond of your existence. So it isn't possible that you can't manifest what you desire because you always have the ability to choose how you feel, what you think, assume, and in some cases, visualize. Just as you are never unable to create consciously your reality because reality is created within. Now, you'll notice that I said emotion and feeling, and that's because there's a distinction. What transforms an emotion into a feeling is your conscious judgment of it, making you the judge and the jury of what is deemed a negative or a positive experience, because what defines an experience is how you feel. That is how much control and power you hold just by existing in the human form. So when you establish what feeling or feelings are at the root of your desire, in other words, when you establish why you want that person, that experience, that material object, rather than give away your power by denying yourself the feeling that that person, that circumstance, that position, that material object would bring until you have it in the 3D or until they show up in your external 3D reality, you have the power to go within and get Give yourself your desire now by feeling it now, regardless of external circumstances. And you can do this either through music, books, movies, visualization, or any other technique or process you choose. Because when you do, you create that now, because you are giving yourself what you wanted now. The only reason why you've convinced yourself that you don't have what you desire now is because we have all at some point believed and operated as if the 3D is final, and we have allowed life to dictate how we think, feel, and what action we take. And this happens for two reasons. The first is because it is always at large the way we were raised, due to lack of knowledge or awareness. And the second is because we have unknowingly or unconsciously felt or thought a particular way and not noticed the correlation between what we think and how we feel within ourselves to the vibrational consequences of what operating from that vibrational standpoint has created out with ourselves in the 3D. And as Abraham Hicks so aptly put, a belief is just a thought you have continued to think, which triggers the brain to seek external evidence to support. And this creates a pattern, which you will probably notice maybe in your career, your relationships and your finances. It's across any subject matter, good or bad. But it starts and ends with you. You don't have to repeat those patterns. You can go within and rise above those limiting beliefs, those perceived limitations, by exercising your freedom of choice to tap into the feeling of your desire and experience it within first. As a result, those beliefs will no longer influence your thoughts and actions and behaviors, and your brain will seek new evidence to support the experience you have given yourself. So you 
are never limited. The 3D is not where you create reality. It is within you. The 3D reality just tells you your point of attraction. So you can choose to go within and change it by feeling differently or keep feeling and thinking and assuming the same. You see, and this is where there can be so much confusion in the teachings of manifestation. You are always manifesting. You are always creating. And this includes what you don't want and what you do want because you have a full spectrum of emotions and the ability to create good and bad thoughts. But here's a real shift in consciousness. Both the negative and the positive, the good and the bad, are equally of service to you. What we don't want to experience is there to teach you to go within and to change your point of attraction. In other words, how you feel within. Just as the good, the positive is there to teach you to go within and create more of that feeling. Hence, as you progress on this journey of I am, which I teach at all various levels on this channel, you will not be so quick to judge those emotions as either good or bad, negatively or positively. As you elevate on this journey, you can begin to look at what Ever it is you have created as either good or very good because you've created it all. All of this is proof of your ability to manifest. So you don't have to look to the 3D reality, your external reality for validation or confirmation as to whether or not you have your desire, whether there is movement or not, because whenever you do, you are telling source, telling God that you do not have it within yourself, that you have not given it to yourself now, that you think that you don't have the power to create. In that moment, you are giving away your power because you're choosing to turn away from focusing on giving yourself that which you desire now, in other words, going within and feeling that desired end and needing the 3D to give you that feeling, which means you're operating from a state of lack, disbelief, wanting, needing and separation, which then puts you into a position of feeling stuck or trapped, disheartened, frustrated, as if you have no influence or power at all, allowing the 3D to dictate what you do or do not have. Again, this tells the universe, God, vibrationally, that you are without what you want. And that is what you'll experience because your vibration is your prayer. It is what you're asking for. So from here, you are stating that you don't have that relationship, that you don't feel love, that you don't feel worthy of that job, position, that stance in life, that you're broke, that you don't get what it is you want, that everyone else has something but you and the reality will prove it. Why? Because it is always responding to your vibration. Always. God always says yes. And how do we really know that we have this power? Because your external world will always align with your dominant internal state of being. And who gave you this power to create? God. And what is your relationship to God? You are his child, otherwise referred to as the perfect extension of source energy of all, which brought you here to experience the fulfillment of creation. Remember, Jesus said before Abraham was, I am. He wasn't saying he was God. He was saying that before he was named Jesus by his earthly parents, he was God. He was a part of I am, all that is. And by being born on this earthly plane, our kingdom on earth, he became a direct extension of that source energy of God, just as you have been and can never be separated from. Just as when you and I were born into human informed by your earthly mom and dad, no matter what you do and where you go, you will always be an extension of your human mom and dad genetically. This is why there is no separation, that everyone and everything is all connected and will always respond to the vibration you are emitting, which is either you have it or you do not. And this is the same for all of us. God created everyone equally by dwelling in our midst, meaning we all have this ability. We all have this access to power, our desires, and you can choose whatever technique or process you like to tap into the satisfaction of having that which you desire now at any moment. And you will know when you have created that which you desire, when you aren't looking, wanting, or needing 
anything external to you to change. You won't feel the need to interfere or make something happen because that is ego from a state of lack is encouraging you to message them, check social media, look for success stories, seek any movement in the 3D. So when, not if, you reach that state of allowing created by feeling it now and to the point where you believe it has happened, the 3D reality, our kingdom on earth, will have to, by the very laws of the universe, will have to bring forth every experience, circumstance, opportunity, person and environment that aligns with your new state of being. Healthy, wealthy and successful, joyous and playful, peaceful and calm, whatever you choose, it will have to conform. But so many people miss out in that experience because they are so focused on the external to validate themselves and what they do have that they deny themselves their own desires within. From now on, this won't be you because I know this message has resonated with those who are ready to hear it. You owe it to yourself to stop denying yourself what you desire and create consciously the most beautiful, wonderful and fulfilling life by going within and knowing you are reality. Feel the fulfillment of knowing you have everything you could ever desire now. Amen, amen. For those of you who use visualization and want to practice this, I've created a very special guided meditation which combines the science of brainwave frequencies with Neville Goddard's wish fulfilled state to make your future based desires a present de facto. And it will be linked in the description below and has been designed to remind you where reality is created and who you really are. I am. Thank you for subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting on this video and for joining the private Facebook group where we do regular Q&As. For those wanting to speak to me one-on-one, -on -one, I have a link in the description box below and the link will also be available on my channel. Now, this is what YouTube recommends you watch next with love and forever in a state of wish fulfilled.